Well, he is accused of setting an Hasidic man on fire in a religious dispute in Rockland. Now the 18-year-old butler of the Grand Rebbe, who some say ordered the attack, is back in the Hasidic community of New Square. News 12's Robert Wolf has the latest on that story. This is video that shows Shaul Spitzer back in his yeshiva in New Square. The young man smiling with his left hand up to his face, still covered in a bandage. The 18-year-old faces attempted murder and arson charges in the May 22nd attack on Aaron Rottenberg, in which Rottenberg was burned over 50% of his body. Spitzer, who suffered burns on his hands in the attack, got out on $300,000 bail. Some say he has a right to return. He has a right to be there till he's uh, prosecuted. So... Uh... That's fine, he goes back. The young man lived in Grand Rabbi David Tversky's house and served as one of his butlers at the time of the attack. No one was home at the rabbi's house in Upper Nyack. The Grand Rabbi did speak out against the arson attack that many believe was tied to a group of young men who enforced the Grand Rabbi's rules. One of those rules was that everyone in this tight-knit community was to pray at the main synagogue here. But Aaron Rottenberg and several others prayed at the Friedwald Center, just outside the village. So we understand that Shaul Spitzer has returned to his studies? No one at the main synagogue would tell us anything about Spitzer, but the Rottenberg family tells News 12 that they are disgusted that Spitzer has returned, almost as if nothing ever happened. That bothers others as well. I think he should be in a special place till his trial comes because of the horrible arson that he did. With Shaul Spitzer's return to this community and the Rottenberg family's continuing isolation, some are asking, is that right? We're in New Square. Robert Wolf, News 12. Well, a family spokesperson told News 12 today there is the possibility that Aaron Rottenberg may be released from the hospital and could return home to New Square this week. The Rottenberg family is suing Grand Rebbe David Tversky and Shaul Spitzer for $18 million.